Всем привет! Меня зовут Цици. Я преподаватель английского и китайского. Я работаю в Time to Study школе. Hi everyone! My name is Цици. I am an English and Chinese teacher uh, here working in the Time to, time to Study school. Uh, 琪琪,我是一名在 uh, uh, Time to Study学校工作的中文老师和英文老师。I'm originally from uh, south of China, which is near to the Yangtze River, which is a really small south town, but everything is so peaceful there. Uh, 我来自中国南方湖北省一个在长江边上的小的很小的城市金州市那里非常的平静一切都非常的祥和美好 I decide to study and work in Ekaterinburg because um, well, I'm a person that not really prefer big cities, busy lives, and I think Moscow and St. Petersburg doesn't really come to my choice. The one thing I know about Ekaterinburg is the uh, city's name. It's named after Catherine the Great, and I really admire the women, and I want to see what the city looks like. Okay, why did I start teaching in time to set school? Because uh, when my husband was uh, a high school student, he used to study here Czech language. You know, I was teaching in the kindergarten and uh, turns out I didn't really like uh, the hard work, difficult work with uh, little kids. And then he just made a call. And then the first time I, I visit here, I feel like, oh, it's so good atmosphere and I can feel the passion of people here for learning new languages and I like to stay with such people. It's very pleasant for me. I Time to Study School是因为我觉得这里的学生包括老师都有着非常强的学术精神大家对学习新的语言非常的热情 The very first thing that I know about Russia is really, really long winter, maybe a lot of forest uh, with a lot of wild animals, maybe beer, wolves, something like this. Yeah, and maybe Russian people, they like vodka, <laughs> they fight with beers, that's what I read from news all the time. <laughs> yeah. I would like to recommend my friends to visit museums and theater in the city because um, I think part of the Russian culture, which is really magical, it's about uh, the, like the theaters, the poetry, everything. I think from my point of view, uh, you need to be more open towards things because um, usually uh, Chinese people, they're more close to themselves, close to their community. But my suggestion is to open up yourself, open up your mind to, em to embrace the whole culture, the whole country. I think the m most interesting story that I have here is that I get married in here, <laughs> which I which I didn't expect because um, I met my husband at the time when I was thinking that I should leave the country because I found myself really difficult to communicate with people around, to speak Russian. I was thinking maybe it's not a good place to stay and maybe it's difficult to date with somebody especially. But then uh, my husband appeared, He's, uh, he, he was and he still is a very distinguished gentleman. He helped me with a lot of things and uh, we did uh, our marriage documents for half a year <laughs> and now we are going to get married. And I think the life will be good. I think Russian language for me, um, it was a little bit difficult because um, Russian grammar um, contains a lot of difficult parts that 
every time when you speak, you need to think about, okay, what can I add to the end of sentence so it sounds correct? I think the most difficult part about uh, learning Russian, about learning a language, is trying to communicate, try to use it. You have to uh, take the first step, and then everything will be easier. Well, of course, I miss my um, Chinese food. Well, we have a Chinese market here, we can buy ingredients, but then uh, it's very expensive and um, there is very less choice. So I miss the Chinese food, but because personally, I'm not really good cooker as well. But then um, my husband tried to cook Korean food for me, <laughs> which is good try. It's not really delicious, but it's a good try. And uh, because he sees me every day just uh, crying because of uh, I really miss the Chinese food, this Asian food taste. And uh, every week we have to spend really expensive bills, uh, restaurant bills to visit Asian restaurants so that I can feel better.